Hi, welcome to Research and Analysis. I am Cameron and uh, first of all I am really sorry that uh, I could not upload any a new video from last couple of months because I was so much busy in my stuff. But I hope that in coming days I will uh, try to post regular tutorials on data analysis and research. Uh, in today's tutorial I will discuss about uh, reverse coded items what are the reverse coded items how to deal the reverse coded items in the data um, let me discuss first what are the reverse coded items whenever we are measuring a specific construct using a specific questionnaire we use a validation technique just to reverse code few of our items just to see if the respondents are giving consistent answers so let me give you an example of a questionnaire in which we have reverse coded few of its items so we have in this questionnaire that is measuring effective commitment and here you can see we have three reverse coded items since we are interested to measure the effective commitment of individuals so you can see its wording this is negatively worded for example, you can see I do not feel like a part of family at my organization. So for example, if the person is giving the response of six, so we will assign him the, uh, you know, the result is two because six will be replaced by two in the data because actually we are measuring the positive trait being a effective commitment. But in fact, this particular item is negatively worded the same is this uh, fourth item it is also negatively worded and in, while entering the data we need to uh, reverse it for example if a respondent uh, is giving the response like five uh, we need to replace it with three and in the same way we have the last item which is the reverse coded so, so this is just an example that um, in order to measure a different construct, we often use a reverse coded uh, 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 questions. So let's discuss how to and deal such kind of uh, reverse coded items in your data. So this is the data we have and we know that we have the these three are reverse coded items. For example, AC3, AC4 and, these, and AC6. All these items are measuring effective commitment. For example, if our respondent is giving the answer of five, we need to change it into three. Since we have the large data, for example, in this case, we have around more than 400 responses. So it will uh, be very difficult for us to change each of this, resp uh, this response one by one. So what we can do here, are, so there are two uh, famous techniques which are used to change uh, this data or you can say just to reverse these responses well, since uh, if we go back to our uh, items we can see that we have seven Likert scale questionnaire one is representing strongly disagree and seven for strongly agree so this is just a tip that you can use for example if you need to uh, for example if we are considering this uh, item ac3 and we need to reverse it we can use this option transform uh, in transform option first of all we uh, for example if we need we are interested to create a new variable that will represent the reverse coding of this item so we, we can do it like ac3 and we can just put r uh, at the end and after that what we can do if we are using seven point liquid scale we need to uh, to minus uh, minus the responses from the eight since we are using seven point liquid scale for example if you are using um, five point liquid scale then you need to minus your responses from 
6. But in case, in our case, we have 7 per liquid scale, so we will minus it, minus our um, particular item from uh, 8. So 8 minus, and we are, for example, AC3. And yes. And now you you can see that all the items are being reverse coded. Uh, you can see here it is uh, it was five, but now you can see it's three. And in the same way we have a, like a response we had the response one, so it was it is changed into seven. So in this way, all the responses related to AC3 is being changed, or we can say reverse coded. So in that way, you uh, we can uh, reverse coded, uh, reverse code all our items. Um, here is another option which you can utilize uh, in spaces. This is transform. Let's just delete this one. So this this was just the one technique, but uh, there is another technique which you can use to reverse code your items. This technique is very helpful. For example, also this uh, technique is particularly helpful if you have so many items that are reverse coded in your in your survey. Uh, so what you can do, just go to transform, and here you can see these options: record into same variables and record into different variables you can utilize any of uh, in these two techniques so um, but i will prefer you should always use a record into different variables just to save your original data in any case in future if you want to uh, use the same data so you need to ha have all uh, the previous data saved in your file so i will prefer record into different variables and and when you click it and uh, this uh, tab will open and from here you can select all your reverse coded items or you can say those who are negatively worded like in our case we have three items we can just select one by one like this way three four and six there is another technique which we can use if we want to select uh, all at once for example let me just reset so in that case what we can do just press our control button and we can just select all items three four six so in that way we can save our time so in this way we have selected all our negatively worded items and we are interested to change into our new items like for example ac3 we can rename it ac3r so it will change like this and next we want to change ac4 this it should change into ac4r and Next, we have AC6 and it will change into AC6R. Remember that we are interested to recode into different variables because we want to, uh, want to save our existing data and we just want to create a new variable so our, um, our original data will remain in the file. And next, we need to assign a, a value. For example, it already been done. Let me just uh, do it for you so that there will be no more confusion for you. Since we already know that and in the negatively worded items, we want to change like seven into one, six into two, Five into three because if a person is responded as responded as five, so it means that uh, her effective her or his effective commitment would be three. So five into three and four since we have the four in the middle, so it will not change. So we will assign the old value, for example, the 
one it will change into seven two into six three into five four will remain same since it is the middle one five into three six into two and finally the seven into one so this is how we can assign or we can say and just uh, put a value or the whatever way we want to change it so just add um, and after that uh, just continue and okay so you can see uh, we are, uh, three new items have been created and these are now reverse coded so it means that while running the analysis for example if we are um, modeling correlation or if we want to uh, make different variables by using these items or for example whenever we are creating a variable that in case uh, we are uh, we want to create a variable of effective commitment we will use uh, this particular option transform compute variable and just click ac and now we need to add all of our items and need to find out its average so in this time we will use the new item not the old one for example in this case we will click ac34 yes and then five that was just the same and finally not the ac6 because we need to use the um the new one ac6r so this is how we can create the variable now this is the effective commitment and these are the values that are representing effective commitment in the same way um, when you need to find out the crone by alpha value or need to run any other analysis you will consider the new items not the old one so this is how you can uh, handle the reverse coded items in your data i hope this video will helpful um, if you will have any further question you can write in the comments thanks for watching